Bonnet Bowles, and he'll open at quarterback tonight. The deep backs going back for West Virginia. Willie Drury is back there, number 48. He can really cut it loose. And kicking off for Texas Christian will be John Denton, who handles the kickoffs and the long kicks. And we're all set to go, and we're delighted to have you with us for this New Year's Eve tradition from the Astrodome in Houston, Texas. John Denton ready to put the ball in the air. And here we go. You'll notice TCU kicks across the field. That ball going into the end zone, it'll be brought out to the 20-yard line. And Kevin Dean will anchor one side, Paul Jones the other. Kent Trammell is the backbone of that defensive line, however. L.B. Washington starting at one of the tackle spots, Darren Turner the other. Taylor and Spann, the linebackers, are good ones. They're a little bit thin there. We'll get to the deep backs in a moment. And on the first play of the ball game, there is Drury taking the pass from Kevin White. He's down the near sideline and out of bounds. Across the midfield stretch to the 47-yard line. And here are the deep backs who will have to contend with that passing attack. Sean Thomas at All-America as the left quarterback. And Byron Linwood, one of the hardest-hitting safeties you will ever see. It's like a linebacker. Slot left, West Virginia. White again to the air. Wasting no time. Going for the big yardage. And again, he has hit Willie Drury. And Drury is out of bounds inside the TCU. 20th the ball spotted back of the 19-yard line of TCU. West Virginia in possession. White goes to his tailback. That's Gay, and Gay slams off his own right tackle. But tonight, they're playing like they did in the earlier part of the season when they were very healthy. That is Brown in motion to the left side. On the dive, it is Wolfley, the fullback. Harvey Smith splits wide to the left side. Wolfley has the first down to five. First and goal to go. Stopped by Gary Spann. David Spradlin, 55. David Caldwell, 48, have come in to beef up the TCU line on the first and goal. A fake handoff, and complete pass for a touchdown to the end zone to Todd Fisher. Mullen is in, Smith is out as the wide out, and Mullen goes in motion for West Virginia. On the dive, straight ahead goes the fullback Wolfley, number 36. He is stopped by Darren Turner, then West Virginia going back to what it does very well, run the ball, third and goal, and here we go. The tailback K is stopped at the two-yard line. Double tight end for West Virginia, they're going to go for it, fourth down and goal to go on the two-yard line. What? Play. Play action. Touchdown, West Virginia. Going to Wolfley, the fullback. Coming out of the backfield. And the Mountaineers on a fourth and goal to go. Go for the big one and get it. The All-America kicker for the try and bangs away at it and kicks it right through the uprights of the Mountaineers. Take a 7-0 lead with 11 minutes, 32 seconds to go in the first quarter. They take the opening kickoff and drive 80 yards for a lead touchdown. And so, with the timeout of the field, it is West Virginia 7, TCU nothing, will return to the Astrodome. And for Texas Christian to take the kickoff, and it is banged downfield by Paul Woodside, taken by Ankrum at about the 5. Ankrum trying to get to the outside, trying to turn that corner, and he can't do it, he is stormed under. And Anthony Gully, number 11, is the quarterback, Tony Jeffrey, 27, Kenneth Davis, 36, of the running back. That's Manus in motion. Back to the close side of the field. And on the option, Gully spins away and gets out to about the 20-yard line. He plays, and we're going to throw the ball. We're going to do a little bit of everything. He looks confident. Now TCU, the big play team, getting Kenneth Davis to the outside to the first down and more. He's out to the 30, knocked out of bounds at about the 31-yard line. First and 10, TCU. Handing off to Tony Jeffrey, and Jeffrey gets stacked up. Ran plays that stayed with Michael, the offensive line coach. Gully on the option. Gully having trouble. Gets out of the trap, though. He's at the 40. He can go at midfield and down into West Virginia territory and out of bounds at the 45-yard line of West Virginia. A gain of 20. And in motion goes number 80, Dan Sharp, as Gully calls a play on the West Virginia 45. Gully pitching and giving to Jeffrey. Jeffrey breaking tackles, getting across the 40 to the West Virginia 39. James Manus splits out wide to the right side. Two-time All-America sprinter. Gully the option. Gully on the pitch to Davis. Davis being strung out to the near sideline and thrown out of bounds by Larry Holly, the free safety number nine. And Gully, the quarterback, calls a play. Third down to TCU. throw 
Gully completes the pass to Manus for a first down inside the 30, down near the 27. And David Grant, the freshman from Belleville, New Jersey, the Mountaineer on the sideline. Here is the handoff going to Kenneth Davis. Davis gets inside the 25. In 25 years of Blue Bonnet Bowl play, the two teams have averaged better than 50 points a game. Gully. Gully looking to throw, throws for the touchdown. It is incomplete, intended for number 84, Keith Burnett, a world-class sprinter. West Virginia beating Boston College. Those two teams in the Cotton Bowl. Gully. Gully throwing. Gully to Manus. Manus catches the ball, goes out of bounds. It's a reception. First down 10 at the 11-yard line. They can get the first down without the touchdown. Just outside the 10, Kenneth Davis up the middle. Davis not getting too much there. Right for TCU. Gully, the option. Gully getting a block. He's at the five and is inside the five and drop. James Manus line, third down and four yards to go for a first down, five yards for a touchdown. Let's see what this West Virginia defense can do now. Gully throwing for the touchdown and he has got it to number 80. Dan Sharp is Flex Sander tied in and Sharp scores his eighth touchdown of the year. He led the Southwest Conference in touchdown reception. And Ken Ozie is in for the extra point dry, and he is perfect. That's 46 out of 48 for him this year. Make that John Denton. Beg your pardon. And so we have a tie ball game with six minutes, 40 seconds to go in the first quarter. West Virginia scoring first on an 80-yard drive. TCU coming right back to march it in. And we've got a timeout, and we'll be back after this word. Seven, six minutes, 40 seconds to go in the first quarter. It's Tony Johnson, number 16, back there. And Willie Drury, though, takes the ball back in the end zone, and here he comes. Drury chased out of bounds inside the 20th. Here we go, West Virginia in possession again. Mullen and Drury, the wideouts for West Virginia. And Kevin White looking up to the air again, goes to the far side, completes it to number 84, is tied in, Rob Bennett. Rob Bennett, 6'6", 249 pounds, out of Buckhannon, West Virginia. And here come the Mountaineers, an inside handoff going to Wolfley, the fullback, and Wolfley, look at him run, will you? Out of bounds, chased out of bounds to the 42-yard line. Five passes for 73 yards and one touchdown, and we've got a penalty called against West Virginia. Because it's first and 25 from West Virginia's standpoint now. That was a dead ball foul, so that'll be 15 plus 10, and the first down yardage will be at the 47 of TCU, as up the middle in the 26th Blue Bonnet Bowl game in the Astrodome in Houston. Jones, 82, coming from the outside with Kevin Dean. And a happy new year to you, wherever you might be watching across America tonight. Delighted to have you with us. White under a rush again. Dean trying to get him and tripped him up, and he goes down on the 20-yard line. For TCU or Garland Littles, number 20, as Super gets the kick away, and it is a boomer, and Littles will field it on his own 26-yard line. Good coverage by West Virginia, and he winds up at about the 32, losing his football helmet, but not the football. TCU, a five-yard uh, penalty, and moving the ball back to the 23, as Gully comes out, and immediately hands off to Davis, who immediately gets nailed. Gully rolling to right to throw, and throws long. It is caught by number 84, Keith Burnett, and Burnett, the world out of bounds. Uh, we'd like to tell you that our next break will be for our local station. So stand by for our next break. Here comes Gully. Rolling right. Left rather looking. Going for the bomb to Manus. Incomplete. Good defensive effort there for number six. Andrew Jones. But 313 to go in the first quarter. Second down 10 on the West Virginia 46. Gully on the option. And he is yanked down by Van Richardson, the weak side linebacker. TCU, two out of three in first down situations so far. Gully at quarterback. Gully under a rush, gets it away to Kenneth Davis. Can Davis get the first down? No, he does not. The 10 if he can, let's see what he can do with it. Jargis drives it downfield, angling for the corner, and let's see where they line it up. It's gonna be at about the seven. Engineers backed up at their own seven-yard line after the kick by Gargas. Mullen in motion, being covered by Sean Thomas, who goes to his side. The handoff. Don Nealon, outstanding young coach at West Virginia. Four consecutive bowl appearances now. Little play action. 
White throwing to the far side for Drury again. And Drury thrown out of bounds by Littles as he crosses the 30 to the 31. Drury took advantage of the one-on-one -on -one coverage. Harvey Smith is in. Gary Mullen is out as a wideout. Here comes Drury in motion to the near side. Littles has him covered. Handoff going to the tailback, John Hollifield, number 20 now in the ball game. John Hollifield, who carried that ball, is a walk-on out of Romulus, Michigan. Second down four for West Virginia. Play action. White wants it all. This time he's going for Mullen, number one, and he is on the way. Touchdown. A good hole to Superick, and he's got the extra point. So Superick adds the extra point. And it is now 14 to 7, West Virginia over TCU. And I like the action in the end zone, regardless of what the rules are now. Let them have some fun. That's what it's all about, bro. Clinton, Brown, and Tatum are back deep. And now Brown came out. He's got to go with the football, trying to get out wide. And he is going to be wrestled down back near the five yard line by West Virginia's. Dead ball foul. Personal foul. Kicking team. First down. He used to have him called all year long. Anthony Gully at quarterback. And look at that West Virginia defense swarm. So at the end of one period here at the 26th annual Blue Bonnet Bowl game at the Astrodome in Houston, it's the West Virginia Mountaineers 14, Texas Christian 7. And we'll be back with a second quarter after this message. For Barry Riddick and Roscoe Tatum are now into the backfield. Three running backs. Here comes a potential reverse. Let's see what Tatum does with the football. He loses it. West Virginia after it. Ball picked up at the one-yard line. It'll be down at about the one-yard line. Van Richardson. He said, well, everybody tells me you got to put something new in for a bowl game. The ball spotted about the two. First down, goal to go. And no one. Kevin White at quarterback. Pecan 39, the up back. Pecan goes up in the air, going for the touchdown. Did he get it or not? We have no signal yet. Third down situation. A little slow getting this play in. They're going to be fighting the clock. There's only six seconds left on the clock. Here it comes. Third and goal. Hollifield dives in. Touchdown. And Woodside, who is just, well, he's better than perfect, nails the extra point with 13.30 to go. West Virginia leading it by a score of 21 to 7 over TCU. One more time. And we'll be back right after this message. The senior from Falls Church, Virginia, All-American with the foot, and bangs it downfield, back into the end zone. It'll be down there and brought out to the 20-yard line. Barry is from Ypsilanti, Michigan, a sophomore at TCU. And on the dive straight ahead goes Riddy, got to about the 25, and they go into a slot out there. Manus wide coming back in motion, gully rolling, getting a great block and throwing incomplete. Manus, tough indication. Third down, six, TCU. Gully under a rush, being swarmed under by the Mountaineer defense, led by Dale McDonald, 69. James Gargis to punt it away to Willie Drury, the big play man for West Virginia. Booming punt, and Drury will field it inside his own 30. Good coverage by TCU, but he gets out to the 35, dropped on the 36. And here come the Mountaineers, led by Kevin White at quarterback. Pecan and Hollifield are running backs, and that is Mullen in motion. The tailback, Hollifield. Tried to cut it back inside, stopped at the 40-yard line, and then it was Kevin White who came on, and you were looking at Scarafa a moment ago, who was warming up for TCU. And a straight hand off and a dive going to Pecan and Pecan. All right, Dwayne, and Scarafa has come out of the bullpen several times this year for TCU. This time, Kevin White throwing over the middle and is complete. Complete to Todd Fisher, number 80. And Don took a look at him and said, well, why not? Let's take a look at this kid. He's got a lot of desire. And look at him throw now as he hits number 88. That is Harvey Smith. Second down five. Gary Mullen back in as a flanker. Harvey Smith is out. And Willie Drury in the slot to the left. White looking for Drury. And Willie is out there. It is intercepted. It is nailed by number 23.
33. Billy Oliver is second interception of the year. TCU has the football. Goes up and comes down with it. TCU. They needed that big play, bro. Scarafa now at quarterback, and on Scarafa's first hand, or tried to hand up, Wes Turner was after the Sooners had scored in the first two possessions. Double wide out to the left, and a pitch going to Riddick, and Riddick being pursued across the field. Larry Holly struck him out all the way to the sideline. Burnett is wide to the right. Let's see what Scarafa can do. Third down, 12. Scarafa can do some running, maybe. Breaks a tackle, gets to the 20, out to the 21. First down, TCU. Riddick, 34. Jeffrey, 27 of the running back split. There's the unbalance, Merrill. And Scarafa flips it out to Riddick. Hit behind the line by Larry Holly to free safety. Going into the slot for TCU. And Burnett back in motion to the right. Scarafa, second down, long. And it is Riddick, and he has really nailed it. Scarafa, a little play action. Scarafa throwing, and it is almost intercepted. It was intended. West Virginia... Mountaineer should get this ball in pretty good field position. A booming punt, though, got by Gargas, driving Willie Drury all the way back to his 21. Look at Willie and his moves out across the 35 to its 36-yard line. Now an audible to the wide outs, and let's see what's coming up for West Virginia. White comes back to the near side. Incomplete. He was looking for Willie Drury. And... You gotta love the years. I mean, they're great. <laughs> Kevin White. 8 out of 11, 171 yards. Now he's looking and being chased by Trammell, but he gets it away to Drury. Let's watch Willie run. Willie Drury, the big play man brought down by Billy Oliver. This year, 74 yards against Pitt. He is a big play man. Play action beautifully by White. Throwing, and it is caught by Wolfley coming out of the backfield. He is down inside the five of the three-yard line, brought down by Billy Jones. Six touchdown passes coming into this game. Two already. He's got the ball on the five-yard line of TCU. White fakes the inside hand. Uh, throws. He's got another touchdown to Wolfley. Action of the night. The extra point try. Woodside bangs it away, and it is good. And the senior from West Church, or Falls Church, West Virginia, or Virginia, rather, keeps uh, his record intact. He's Got a great string of extra points. Here's the touchdown again to Wolfley. Wolfley just wide open and takes it, walks it in the end zone. 63-yard drive, four plays. West Virginia leading 28-7. to Roscoe Tatum are back deep. It is going to be Tatum at the goal line. And I believe he came out. He did. And Tatum gets out to the 10. Waddy was trying to hold him, but I believe his right foot was across. Scarafa, first and 10 on the TCU 10. Scarafa looking to throw and does. It is caught by Sharp. A fine reception at the 25 for TCU. First and 10 for the Horn Frogs. Scarafa handing off on a dive to Tony Jeffrey, number 27. The front move the ball down the field, put some points on us, and get themselves back into the ball game. Second down. Scarafa breaking a tackle, trying to get to the near side and gets to the 36 from their 14, 23, 20, 20, 10, and 10. Scarafa to throw. Airs it out incomplete and completely overthrew Dan uh, Kessler. Don't, don't worry, Mother. John Riggins it was that way years ago, too. Kessler, one of, and he's about 290 pounds. Joe's we act about 290, 295. Manus the wide out to the left and incomplete on that pass to Riddick. Right now. Gargas to punt it away. James drives this one, a line drive shot down the field to Willie Drury. Drury taking the ball at his own 10. Here he comes again. This time brought down at about the 20. Might be anticipating so they can get something accomplished when they get the ball again. TCU showing uh, blitz here. They back off the handoff on a dive right at the middle. He has been red hot with a touchdown pass. Wolfley and Gay are the running backs. And this is Gay. And Gay has a first down with plenty to spare across the 35. D. Jarnett doing a great job. At the 38, first down, West Virginia. White, here comes the reverse, and it's going to Mullen, coming back to the near side. Mullen at the 40, Mullen at the 45. Mullen forced out of bounds at about the 48. 
Now Todd Fisher, the tight end, lines up right. And the handoff goes to Gay, who bangs his way to the midfield stripe. And then Wayne Brown goes to the right side. Wolfley and Gay are the running backs. Kevin White zips that ball. It is incomplete. Intended for Todd Fisher, the Drury is going to line up on the wing to the left. Now he goes in motion to the right side on third down nine. Kevin White back over the middle. It is complete to the tight end, Todd Fisher, number 80. And he is brought down in the 44 of TCU to do the punting. And Byron Linwood. And they go to a little surprise, and Walkley may be able to break it. He is finally pulled down from behind by Linwood. Well, you talk about wide open football. With some good blocking here. He's a shot of him. He can't go to the fullback. Like an old single wing type play. They kick out of the outside. But a missed tackle. If, the, if they make the tackle, they don't make this big game. First down on the 22. Kevin White coming into the near side. It is caught by number one Gary Mullen, the flanker from Clareton, Pennsylvania, is the call. Holding against West Virginia. Actually, after the clock had run out, we'll tell you more about that in a moment. Kevin White. Here comes the reverse, maybe. Mullen almost trapped. Now he's going to throw the football, and it is caught at the four-yard line. Was he in bounds? Yes. Drury. Drury, a senior from Columbus, New Jersey, and the Pro Scouts are going to be drooling over him. First and goal. White rolling left, looking, throwing. Ball batted down by number 82, Paul Jones. On second and goal, 11 seconds to go in the first half. Wolfley and Gay are the running backs. Incomplete. Woodside in 1982 hit 28 out of 31 field goals for an NCAA record for accuracy. This will be a 21 yard effort, and it is good. Woodside puts three on the board for West Virginia. So, with four seconds left to play in the first half, it is West Virginia 31, TCU 7. TCU stunned with 31 points on the board for West Virginia. Woodside bangs it downfield. This time, Tatum will not bring the ball out. It'll come to the 20-yard line. Back in the ball game. Scarrah for the quarterback, and the handoff goes to Tony Jeffrey, and Jeffrey on the dive tackle goes for about three or four, and the first half comes to an end. So the West Virginia Mountaineers, who have come to the Astrodome for the Blue Bonnet Bowl, with a record of 7-4 against TCU's 8-3 mark, leaves the field with a 31-7 lead. Getting the tight end on a pop pass and controlling the ball a little bit more. Ball Woodside kicks off for West Virginia, and this one is going to come up short, and it will be returned by number 12, Egypt Allen. And Allen, Gary Riddick, has replaced uh, uh, Davis, Kenneth Davis, at the running back spot, Davis having gone out with the injury, and Gully looking to throw on first down here in the third quarter, angles it for uh, James Maness, and Maness comes up. Spectacular catch on the second effort. And the ball, and of course he... To the live action, and Gully goes nowhere. Second down, 12. Anthony Gully at quarterback for TCU, Maness coming back in motion to the right side. Tailback Jeffrey and Jeffrey gets back to the line of scrimmage. Patrick Bradford, 32, is now into the backfield for TCU. The under Shandy play brought down on the 48 by Fred Smalls, who comes up with another big play. And the punting unit is on as James Gargas boots it away for TCU at a beauty. Hangs it high, and the ball is going to go back into the end zone. It'll be brought out to the 20, 20 yard line. West Virginia leading 31 7, third quarter, Blue Bonnet. And right at the middle comes John Hollifield, diving out to the 24. They were crippled. They had four regulars lost with injuries, but everybody is back now but Ernie Anderson. And another running play. This time it's Hollifield getting the call. That's Willie Drury. He's been the big play man for West Virginia. Wolfley and Hollifield are the running backs. That pass completed to number 84, Rob Bennett, the tight end. He's got a first down for West Virginia. With two people in good coverage. He laid that ball in there with excellent accuracy. Smith is split wide to the left side for West Virginia, and West Virginia stays with Hollifield on the run, picking his way across the 35, dropped at about the 36, but Mullins splits out wide to the right side. And on the left side is Drury, as Kevin White wants to go airborne, and does, is almost intercepted, with Mullen White out to the right. On third down, TCU showing blitz, and play action with White throwing, going for it all, and it is incomplete. 
Rob DePonte has one for 53 yards of the ball game. Let's see what he can do with this one. Steve drives this one downfield. We're just taking about Wayne Waddy. And Waddy goes down almost at the 30-yard line. TCU's ball, first down, TCU 30. And Anthony Gully and TCU at average 284 yards offense. per ball game. 463 yards total offense. Here comes Gully on the option. Gully on the pitch to Tony Jeffrey, the tailback, and Jeffrey is chased out of bounds. Keith Burnett split wide left side. Thank you, Steve. And here is Gully. Looks like it might have been a broken play. Now he's going to get what he can after it. Uh, out of it, and he fires away. And that ball is almost caught by Dan Sharp. Let's see what West Virginia does on the defense here. Here they come. Blitz is on, and Gully trying to get out of the trap. Dives down at about the 34-yard line, getting about four. Underestimating some of his players. James Gargas kicks it away to Willie Drury. Drury, an exciting return man. Let's see what he can do. Well, he makes five yards out of almost nothing, and West Virginia loses. White handing off to Pecan. And Pecan goes out to the 35, where it'll be second and five. Pecan and Gay are now the running backs. Gay is the tailback on second down. And it's Gay on the call, and he goes up the middle for a first down across the 40, and fumbles a football, and let's see who's got it. Uh, I believe the official ruled that he was down. Well, good call by the official. At the 43, first down, West Virginia. The Mountaineers controlling the game, 31-7. to Kevin White goes high for Mullen. Mullen is up there. He's got it, but he was out of bounds. No catch. But we'll see as we get down the sideline here that Mullins carries himself, carrying himself over the out of bounds there. Watch him, he's out of bounds right there. That right, that uh, left foot is on the out of bounds as he catches the ball. Okay, there you go with a DCU fan. A good old Texas expression. Second down and ten. That ball is flipped up into the air, almost grabbed off by LB Washington. First of three touchdown passes tonight. Then TCU came right back to tie it. Let's look at Drury, who is wide to the left side, third down, 10. And the blitz is on, and down goes the quarterback, Kevin White, all over him, Byron Linwood. Linwood coming in the blitz, and Linwood may have come up with a football besides. Jeffrey and Bradford are the running backs for TCU as Gully pitches as he has hit. Jeffrey comes up with the ball. Jeffrey at the 20, at the 15, driving inside the 15 to about the 13. Second down, a yard to go, a gain of nine officially. Gully fumbles a football. He's on top of it, and he recovered it. Texas and Texas A&M whacked TCU at the end of the year. Gully on the option. Gully fighting for the first down, gets crushed at about the 12, and I don't believe he made it. Gary Ford in as the tight end. Mana splitting wide to the right side. Gully fourth down and one. Gully is going to go for the first down. He's got first and goal at about the nine-yard line. Game first down and goal, TCU. Here comes the blitz. And Gully uh, hands the ball off to Riddick. And Riddick is thrown all the way back to the 22-yard line. Travis Curtis, second down and goal from the 20. Slot to the left for TCU. Gully, the option, Gully looking, Gully finally throwing, and it is caught for a touchdown! Keith Burnett, number 84! A 20-yard touchdown play! Looking downfield, very close to the line of scrimmage, throws that ball, now good concentration for Burnett to go up and catch that ball. That's a fine uh, catch by the sophomore out of Houston Nates High School. And that's his first touchdown of the year, and the extra point is added, and TCU is on the scoreboard here in the third quarter. With four minutes and 45 seconds to go in the third period, West Virginia 31, TCU 14. Okay, it's TCU to kick off, and the kick will be across the field to the corner, and Willie Drury is back to take it in the end zone. He will down it there. Here come the Mountaineers. Mullen is split wide to the left side, Drury to the right side. The tailback, Hollifield getting the call, and Hollifield out across the 30 to the 35, first down. And Wolfley, the fullback, goes in motion. White under a rush, fires away, and it is almost intercepted by Lindenwood. 
You're looking at Willie Drury, who's the big, big play man in the first half. Split to the left side. Dean goes to Hollifield. Hollifield making a cut, making big yardage. He might, oh, he is pulled down from behind. Brought down by Billy Oliver when it looked like he was on the way. And linebackers and the defensive linemen to keep hitting them because, uh, my opinion is, you got to hit people. Second down, 10. Looked like a busted play all the way. Second and 10 here for Kevin White. White going to his tailback, Gay, and he is strung out across the way to the sideline, but he is going to be a wide out right now. He is wide to the right as Drury comes back in motion to the left side. Kevin White bumps once. Now he is going for Drury, who is wide open. Overshot him. Oh, my goodness. Jones going back as a single safety for TCU. Superick line drives the ball down to Billy Jones, who catches it on the run. He's up to the 20, the 25, and up to about the 27. Tony Jeffrey and Barry Riddick are the running backs for TCU. Gully at quarterback. Gully going to air it out. He's going to go long for Manus, and it is incomplete. Good coverage. Second down. Gully handing off to Riddick, and Riddick throws it. All the great people. Third down and 10. Gully. And Gully being chased, and Gully's going to run cannot get to the outside. He gets to about the 33 and Larry Holly, the free safety. James Gargas and a fake punt. Can they get the first down? They do. Garland Little, first and 10 on the 40 for TCU. Anthony Gully at quarterback. 45 seconds to go in the third quarter. Gully looking to throw to this side and does to Manus and he dives to make the catch in West Virginia territory to the 45-yard line. 33 seconds to go now in the third quarter. They show blitz. And here they come. Gully in trouble and Gully goes down as Larry Holly, the free safety, was covered on the blitz. We've reached the end of the line for the third quarter. At the end of three, West Virginia 31, TCU 14. And we'll be back with the fourth quarter right after this. and Ed Biles with you. Fourth quarter Blue Bonnet Bowl. It is a second down. The pitch coming back to Jeffrey of TCU and he is across the 45 to about the 44-yard line. Well, Cam Zopp was the injured player for West Virginia. He has been removed from the field. It's third down coming up nine yards to go. And Gully throwing to the near side to Manus. He's got the first down. Breaking a tackle, diving down about the 22-yard line of West Virginia. Manus, five carries, 90, or rather five receptions, 90 yards. Gully handing off to Riddick. And he, there's a fumble. Who's got it? Looks like TCU might have recovered it at about the 20-yard line. West Virginia says they have it. Down underneath that pile right now. West Virginia comes up with it. West Virginia recovers the fumble, stopping TCU. Fine. Kevin White, outstanding at quarterback tonight, putting 31 points on the board for the Mountaineers. Handing off to Ron Wolfley, the fullback, and he dives out to about the 25. Those guys did it. Well, when that flag goes... First and 15, West Virginia. White, a little play action. And he puts it over to Wolfley, and he breaks a tackle and gets an extra five yards. And off to the tailback Hollifield gets a block on the corner and is out across the 30 to about the 32 and assist in telecasting the ball game tonight first down handoff going to the tailback gay and gay right at the middle of the 39s Evan white has gone all the way at quarterback for the Mountaineers and white to Wolfley and he crosses the 40 fumbles a football TCU comes up with it unless the play was dead. No, it's TCU's ball. Gary Spann comes up with it, the linebacker, and TCU has it on the 42-yard line of the Mountaineers. Now at quarterback is Carafa, and he goes down. It is second down, 15. Anthony Scarafa at quarterback. He came on in the second quarter. The dive straight ahead to Tony Jeffrey, and he gets a couple to the 44. Third down, 12, 448 yards total offense, West Virginia, 250 TCU. Five seconds left on that clock, and Scarafa breaks a tackle. He's getting to the outside, trying to shake the linebacker, but he's not quite able to do it completely. Well, I think they'd better have us go. They'll be out busy recruiting. TCU, two out of two on fourth down plays. Fourth down here, Scarafa to throw. Zips it in to number 84, Keith Burnett, and they do it again. Three out of three on fourth down. First down, first down on the 23. Ten minutes, ten seconds to go in the ball game. Scarafa to throw. Scarafa hits number 80, Dan Sharp. The flex end or the tight end, if you will. Scarafa, the quarterback. They go 
settle for the first down with Jeffrey slamming straight ahead. And they did not get the first down. Third and inches. Scarapa throws on the run, and it is incomplete. And it'll be fourth down. That's Dennis Brown, the defensive coordinator. Fourth down inches. TCU three out of three on fourth down plays. They show blitz. And a dive by Scarapa, and I believe he has it. Came 43,260 in the Astrodome tonight. And they... <laughs> oh, my goodness. West Virginia has taken over by an inch. Ooh, Kevin White and company taking over. First down for the Mountaineers. They go to the run. Hollifield hit behind the line of scrimmage. Covered by Gary Spann, the linebacker. Pecan and Gay are the running backs. That's Drury in motion. And Kevin White firing away incomplete intended for Drury. We have a flag drop there cooperation and help in the telecast of the, in the Hall of Fame game. You know, weather service has major, dead by the major foul. surgery and illegal well. procedure. Offense, first down. Put the uh, mask on to protect a calcium deposit is for it. First down, 15 yards to go after the penalty. And Hollifield, who shows extreme quickness, gets out across the 25. Yeah, purple and white, five, five, five. How about All that, right. man? Second down, 12. Here come the Blitzers as Kevin Dean fires away. The pass is caught by Willie Drury. A flag was dropped. Billy Oliver. And that Offsides. Defense. Decline. First down. And 6.36 left to play in the ball game. Again, TCU showing blitz. Paul Field taking the hand up, getting to the line of scrimmage. A lot of people in the state had the opportunity to do the job that he's done. Mullins put wide to the right side on a second down call. And again, the defense reacts quickly as Bill Tomney stopped. I think we'll see him throw the ball on third down, but he's really not doing the wide open things that he had planned early in the game. Third down, we've got uh, Randolph in the ball game now. And a completion. So, first and ten in the 46. Now, Davis to throw. He airs it out, going for Mullen. And Mullen is covered by Sean Thomas all the way down the sideline. Kevin Dean, an outstanding first half. And Kevin Dean handing off to Pat Randolph, the tailback. TCU folks, Chancellor William Tucker, athletic director Frank uh, Windigger, brought uh, Jim Wacker and his staff to TCU. Third down play. It's Pecan and about... 114 in the final minutes of the game. West Virginia leading TCU as Super gets it way up in the air. Fair catch call for by Texas Christian. Grabbed on the 20-yard line with three minutes, 19 seconds left in the ball game. Trailing 31-14 to the Mountaineers of West Virginia. Scarafa at quarterback. Scarafa back up the middle. It is intercepted by West Virginia at the 45-yard line as Stacy Smith, number four, picks it up. And West Virginia has the ball at the 43-yard line of it, but West Virginia's defense has been equal to the occasion this evening. West Virginia going to the run. Pat Randolph. TV here in Cincinnati. You've got a pretty good track record, Coach. Well, thank you, Merle. It's been a pleasure working with you. Third down. And diving straight ahead is Chris Pecan. Happy New Year to you, Bob, and I know Willie will be proud of this trophy. Thank you very much. Flags go down as Super gets the kick away, and it goes into the end zone. TCU might have been offside. Offside. Defense. First down. Ed Hill is now running back. He's at the tailback spot for West Virginia. Here comes the Blitz, and here comes Pat Randolph. And Randolph. Tony Rita calls it for the Mountaineers. Rita to Randolph, and Randolph on his feet at the 15, the 10, and he is down to about the 9-yard line. The Mountaineers lead 31-14. Again, Randolph, and he is knocked down just about at the line of scrimmage. That's Willie Drury split up wide to the left side. And Ed Hill gets the call in the carry. We want to see you for 85. It's right around the corner. Drury in the slot to the left. Tony Rita. Tony Rita goes to Randolph. Randolph met just about at the line of scrimmage. Rustled down by Byron Linwood. And two seconds, one second, and it is all over. And West Virginia wins it, beating TCU.